Lana Turner endured a difficult childhood. After the family moved to San Francisco, her parents separated and she was placed in a foster home where she was abused. Soon thereafter, her father was murdered. Turner was reunited with her mother, and in 1936, they moved to Los Angeles, where, as legend has it, the golden-haired starlet was discovered at a drugstore soda fountain by a Hollywood film journalist. That led to a small part in Warner Brothers, they won't forget, in 1937, who suggested she drop her nickname Judy for something more glamorous. She chose Lana. Leroy took her with him when he moved to MGM in 1938, and she remained under contract there until 1956. Turner's early film roles were undistinguished, but the tight sweater she had worn in They Won't Forget prompted studio publicists to promote her as the sweater girl, and the sexy photographs she posed for were in great demand. Lana's screen roles often mirrored her chaotic private life. She had seven husbands whom included band leader Artie Shaw. Also, she was romantically linked to numerous other men. She made headlines nationwide when her 14-year-old daughter, Cheryl Crane, stabbed to death Turner's abusive gangster boyfriend, Johnny Stampato. Turner's account of her life, Lana, The Lady, The Legend, The Truth, was published in 1982. The success of the film demonstrated that Turner was still a popular actress. She continued to work steadily until the late 1960s. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.